join. I feel like every man I get back is low testosterone. Like, yeah. Low testosterone. I, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Live Lean TV. I'm Brad Guthrie from LiveLeanTV.com. So guys, on today's episode, I'm sharing eight simple ways on how to boost testosterone naturally for men, including my personal story with low testosterone. Yes, it's time for me to open up once again, get vulnerable and share my personal story because it's no secret that compared to previous generations, testosterone production is dropping drastically in men. Even a higher percentage of men going into their 30s are suffering from lower levels of testosterone. This included me. So more on that personal story in just a little bit. But first, testosterone is more than just a sex hormone as it plays so many important roles in the body. The benefits of testosterone include more energy and stamina, increased fat burning capabilities, improved muscle building potential, a higher sex drive and performance. So I think it's safe to say that all men would say, yes, I would like more of the above. And then some signs of low testosterone in men may include impaired sexual function, low levels of muscle mass, high levels of belly fat, and low energy. So with all that said, guys, here's my experience with low testosterone levels. Let me just share a quick story that I've never shared with you guys before. When I was in my early 30s, yeah, early 30s, I'm 38 now, one of my personal training clients was a doctor. So at this time, I was really starting to dial in my nutrition, so I wanted to get a baseline with my blood test results. So my doctor, who was a client, reviewed my blood test results and said all of my blood markers were healthy. However, one thing really surprised him. It was my testosterone levels. Looking at me, he assumed I would be off the charts. However, my testosterone levels were actually quite low. He said for someone that looks like you with low body fat, great muscle mass, he assumed my testosterone levels would be optimal, but they weren't. Now, if I remember correctly, my total testosterone count was in the 300 to 400 range. So let's put that in perspective. A few decades ago, testosterone levels between 500 and 1500 were considered normal. Now the range has dropped to 350 to 1200. So at the time, although my testosterone was still in this huge range, it was still considered optimal, it was on the very low end of that range. And for my age and my lifestyle, my testosterone was very low. So during this stage of my career, I was following a diet that was higher in carbohydrates and lower in fat. I was also completing a lot of two a day workouts, meaning I was doing cardio in the morning and then resistance training in the afternoon for most days of the week. I was also going through a divorce. I was a brand new entrepreneur that wasn't making very much money, if any money at all, and I felt distant from my friends. So in other words, I was highly stressed out. So the doctors all recommended testosterone replacement therapy. However, with the potential side effects, I wasn't a fan of that as a long-term solution. And that's when I decided to dig deep into the research and really focus on these eight ways on how to boost testosterone naturally for men. So then by following these tips, my recent blood test results with my naturopathic doctor showed my testosterone counts nearly doubled from when I first took my test back in my early 30s. So here's how I did it. Number one, consume more healthy fat, including cholesterol. So guys, if you're still living in 1985 and you think low fat diets are good for you, here's one more reason to add more healthy fat to your diet. Healthy fats are the building blocks of boosting testosterone naturally as the cholesterol can help produce more testosterone. In fact, my naturopathic doctor even says, even with all the grass fed meat that I eat, the coconut oil, and I eat four whole eggs a day, my total cholesterol levels are actually still low. Right, just getting ready to have my call with the uh, naturopathic doctor. Uh, I'm gonna set you guys down over there and uh, let you peek in. <clears throat> I feel like every man I get back is low testosterone. Like, I, I, yeah, I, yeah. So your cholesterol at 150, most doctors would be thrilled with you. Just like, this is an excellent lipid profile. You couldn't really do much better. The so one thing I will say though is, in my opinion, it's a little low. Oh. Um, and why I don't want low cholesterol for you is because um, it's the backbone of all of your uh, hormones. 
Right. Especially if you're having hormone deficiency issues. So if you don't have enough cholesterol, you're not going to be pumping out extra testosterone. Yeah. So, so in other words, she actually wants me to eat more of these foods to increase my cholesterol. So these testosterone boosting healthy fats can include a combination of monounsaturated fat and saturated fat. So foods high in monounsaturated fat include extra virgin olive oil and olives, nuts and nut butters, including macadamias, pecans, almonds and cashews and seeds, including sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, flax seeds and chia seeds and avocado oil and avocados. Also foods high in saturated fat include grass-fed beef, whole eggs, coconut, coconut oil, and coconut butter. So tip number two, reduce the consumption of alcohol. So drinking too much alcohol, especially beer, can increase the conversion of testosterone to estrogen. So when testosterone levels drop, estrogen levels usually increase. Now, this is not to say that you can never drink alcohol as I still enjoy a few drinks of alcohol per week, but if you're struggling with low testosterone and you have multiple drinks of beer like every single night, cut back. All right, guys, tip number three, increase consumption of the key testosterone boosting vitamins and minerals. So by working with a naturopathic doctor, they can run a blood test to see which micronutrients you may be void in. Now this is important as consuming the optimal amounts of micronutrients are very important when it comes to boosting testosterone production. So these important testosterone boosting micronutrients include zinc, magnesium, vitamin D3, vitamin A, B vitamins, and selenium. So essentially if you follow like a paleo way of eating like I do, meaning foods with an emphasis on meat, vegetables, fruits, nuts, and seeds, you're well on your way to optimizing these nutrients, but you could also supplement with a high quality greens powder or a multivitamin that is high in these micronutrients, just as your micronutrient insurance. And if your blood test results show that you're low in any of these, you could also supplement with the individual vitamin or the mineral. Tip number four guys, have more sex. Biggity, yes, the more sex you have, the more testosterone your body may produce. So to me, it sounds like a win-win, but just be safe, gentlemen, because when you're living lean, we're a potent baby-making machine, and I'm proof of that, <laughs> so be careful. And tip number five, guys, get rid of the belly fat by reducing sugar consumption. So by flipping my carbohydrate and my dietary fat micronutrient percentages like this, it helped me reduce my sugar consumption and increase my fat consumption. So this is optimal for testosterone production. Not only is sugar terrible for creating unwanted belly fat, excessive sugar consumption may also hurt testosterone production. When you eat too much sugar, it spikes the insulin production to quickly remove all that excess sugar from your bloodstream. Now, this causes your blood sugar levels to crash, thus increasing your cravings for more sugar. Then you eat more sugar and the blood sugar and food craving cycle just continues. So I did an episode on how to reduce cravings by taking a shot of this simple cocktail that I show you in this video right here. You can go watch that. Also, I find eating a tablespoon of coconut oil when I feel a craving between meals can help. Plus guys, not only does this sugar increase belly fat storage, but by increasing overall body fat, it increases the production of enzymes that convert testosterone into estrogen. Belly fat may also impact the levels of free testosterone and SHBG, which stands for sex hormone binding globulin. Now this SHBG plays a role in determining how much free testosterone is in the body. Tip number six, guys, improve the quality of your sleep. So sleep is essential for many aspects of your health, including the role it plays in boosting testosterone naturally. Now, I've done many videos on how to get better quality sleep, but some of the best sleep tips include getting into a relaxed state by unwinding one hour before bed. So read a book rather than being on your mobile device or your computer or your TV. Now, meditation, which is something that I also implemented, can also calm the mind of all the anxieties that you face throughout the day. You can also supplement with magnesium before bed as it may help you relax for a deeper sleep while also helping boost testosterone. You can go watch that video on my best sleep tips right here. Number seven guys, reduce xenoestrogens. Now xenoestrogens are chemicals that act as 
estrogen mimicking hormones in the body. In excess, these man-made chemicals may throw off the hormonal balance of both men and women. Now these are often found in plastics and cans containing BPA, skincare products containing parabens, sulfates, and glycol. Now I did an entire episode on this so you can go watch that right here. And number eight guys, follow a properly structured resistance training program. So sure, any type of exercise is good for the body, but when it comes to boosting testosterone naturally, resistance training, not aerobic training, is like endurance cardio is your best option. Your resistance training program should schedule weightlifting days as well as the much needed recovery days because guys, as I said earlier, rest and recovery is not only essential to reducing stress and inflammation, but overtraining can have a negative effect on your testosterone levels. So since my first testosterone blood test, I pretty much stopped doing two a days and I've placed more emphasis on recovery. And it's also important that your structured workout program focuses more on compound exercises rather than isolation exercises such as bicep curls and leg extensions. Now the major testosterone boosting compound exercises to focus on include deadlifts, squats, presses including like a bench press and a shoulder press, also rows, pull-ups and dips, and even kettlebell swings. Not only do these compound exercises build muscle and burn fat, they're also great for boosting free testosterone and growth hormone. And when it comes to your cardio guys, sprint workouts are also the way to go when it comes to cardio, not endurance cardio workouts. Not all testosterone in the body is active. When you get your testosterone levels checked guys, make sure you also measure the free testosterone levels. This is the active portion of your testosterone. So free testosterone levels decline with age due to that SHBG, so that sex hormone binding globulin, which binds to the testosterone. So once the SHBG is bound, your testosterone can no longer provide the body with all the benefits. So based on the lab that does my blood work, optimal free testosterone levels range from 4.7 to 24.4. So bottom line here on how to boost testosterone naturally. As men, we need to focus on optimizing our testosterone levels. All of the principles from the live lean lifestyle, from the nutrition to the recovery to the workout styles are built on optimizing testosterone. So even if you're showing any signs of low testosterone, I still recommend you find out your testosterone count by working with a naturopathic doctor. And you can DM me over on Instagram at Brad Guthrow and I can share my naturopathic doctor with you and see if it's a good fit for you. So once you get your baseline test, then you can work towards improving it with our Live Lean programs. So I recommend you go take our Live Lean Body Quiz to find the best program for you based on your goals, your fitness level, and access to equipment. Now, each program comes with a 42-day workout program and nutrition plan. So go take the quiz, guys, figure it out which one's best for you, and let's get to work. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, subscribe with notifications turned on, and please share it with someone who needs the help. Thank you guys so much for watching, and keep living lean. Oh, no.